Um, I was just in LA for uh, for a meeting about another show that I'm. Um, uh, it's actually not an adaptation. It's like a brand new IP that I'm uh, creating for uh, AMC, uh, um, writing a pilot for them uh, at the start of the year. And I went and hung out with the guy show running um, the Beacon 23 show, uh, Zach Penn, who has written some of my favorite stuff. He wrote uh, The Last um, Action Hero, one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger films. Um, he did... He did uh, Action 2? Uh, yeah, he did X-Men. He did uh, Ready Player One, um, Free Guy, which I absolutely loved. But uh, I was just getting... I didn't, I didn't, I don't really bug the people with Beacon 23 to see what's going on. And uh, they're building sets as well, like getting ready to start filming in the new year. So um, for someone who does not believe anything gets made, like a lot of stuff looks like it's starting to get made. It's kind of wild. Uh, and last time we talked to you, you had dropped tantalizing hits about a possible sand film or show with Gary Awada uh, doing the the, the honors of an adaptation yeah that that um that was years ago that script was amazing he wrote a, an incredible pilot that that sci-fi network uh basically greenlit they were like we're we're making this and then they started running the numbers and and i think they were having a hard time with the expanse at the time where they had this super popular show that was expensive to make and they were losing money uh on it like they the advertising dollars weren't matching. Um, that's the kind of the rumor that I was hearing, but it was really weird that they had like one of the hottest shows on TV and couldn't make it work. And I think the same calculations, the same kind of bean counter um, jujitsu was going on with, uh, with figuring out sand. So they, they passed and we ended up taking it back out and it landed with um, a big streaming service, which I don't, I don't, I don't probably shouldn't name, but um, this duo, this uh, husband wife team wrote an amazing screen, screenplay and just fell in love with this world. They've been living in that world for like two or three years now. Like they spent more time living with the world of, of sand than I have. And I just heard from them uh, this month, yeah, in December, that uh, they're getting the, not only are we getting the rights back, but the streamer we were with said, you can take the pilot with you. So, uh, which is like super generous. Um, doesn't always happen that way. And they have this incredible pitch deck and wrote this amazing letter to me and just said like, we, we believe in this, we love this world and we wanna to take this out as a package. So, um, Sand still has some life like, um, I, when I do an option deal, I never assume anything's going to even get developed. I just <clears throat> look at the people I want to work with and have creative discussions with because it's fun and the small amount they're willing to pay, which is like a bonus uh, as a writer, you know, in a profession where you're not, you don't have like health benefits and, um, and know what you're going to make every month. So like, you know, every little option deal is a, is a cool bonus, but I, I don't assume things are going to move uh, forward. And so this is like, this will be the third time we go out with sand and I know that we'll find a home for it. But um, what's, what's cool is having a team like this behind it. It already has so much momentum and so much um, writing done and so much work developed that it feels like um, whatever happens next, like we're already a step ahead of the game, which is really cool. Well, I know that uh, for, you know, the, for a long time, it was going to be Wool, the movie, and then the rights uh, came back to you. <clears throat> I think it was your idea, or, or you had been convinced that a, a TV show would be the better option. I mean, for a lot of your stuff, with the exception of something like, I don't know, maybe The Plagiarist would make a, would make a nice short film, Second Suicide, one film, and, and then we're out, whereas a lot of, the, a lot of your books are, are originally released as series. Isn't television sort of maybe a better medium for your for your stories at this point? Yeah, I think that might be true for a, for most stories. Um, it's funny you mentioned the plagiarists. Um, that to me seems like you would just make it a film, and we did a deal with that this year, and it's for a TV show. So someone's taking a, a short story and like they're trying to figure out how to do a whole TV show based on it, um, <clears throat> which is fascinating. But 
I think, you know, there's always more story to tell. There's always ways to expand a story to something bigger. Um, uh, the, the films, uh, the Blade Runner films came from a short story and it's easy to imagine an entire TV show just based on that world and those characters. Um, the same for uh, Total Recall was based on another Philip K. Dick short story that you could easily see a whole season uh, to tell the story of, you know, going to Mars and saving it. Um, so, I, yeah, I think, uh, I think the medium is amazing right now. Like some of the, some of the most entertaining stuff I have seen uh, in my lifetime has been long form television. And part of it's because you get to spend so much more time with these characters. Like, you know, I think we all feel like we know Walter White really well because we've spent seasons getting to know this guy. And, uh, we have so many memories of like all of his ups and downs. Um, but uh, yeah, even Beacon 23, I'm really, I was really surprised when uh, someone said, yeah, we're going to turn this into a, a TV series. I felt like, wow, I, I, didn't, I can't imagine doing entire seasons, like season after season in this world. But then I hear the, the idea and the pitch and what they plan with it. I'm like, oh, it can't make sense. We can, we can create all this extra drama. It's um, um trying to like I can't even tell you which one I'm I'm most excited about. I've been watching uh, uh, for all humanity has been my number one show for quarantine. I, I discovered it in like two months, which for me is the fastest I could possibly binge two seasons of television. I was like, it's gone. There's there's no more. Where where I, I need it. Uh, and, and as I'm watching it, I watch part of The Invasion. I watch part of Foundation. I'm like, these Apple guys, they're smart. They're making great sci-fi. Oh, when they get a hold of Hugh Howie, I know I'm in for, for a treat because they're, they're doing it right over there. Yeah, they're, well, they're definitely not uh, cutting many corners with their shows. And um, it, I, I don't know how the, the DNA of a company um, ex, you know, spans multiple divisions, but the sense I get just working with Apple on, on wool is that it's very similar to their products where we're not going to do, we're not going to span the market with a whole bunch of different products. We're going to make sure each one is done um, as, as perfectly as we can do it. And uh, really appreciated that attention to detail and, and just the patience to get the right person at each position, um, not just on the screen, everyone goes crazy about the casting, but if you look at the people in, in the, um, in the, the back end of this, like who they're getting to direct, not just Morton um, doing most of the episodes, but um, David and the guys doing, um, you know, a couple episodes a piece here and there, just like uh, their, um, their IMDb, IMDb pages are just ridiculous. And uh, the production designers, the art uh, heads, like everyone they're getting on the show is just a dream hire. And um, uh, feel very fortunate, very, really impressed with these guys for being able to go out and, and land whoever they want at every position, pretty much. It's Michael, uh, what's his last name? Uh, Michael Morton Tilden, the director, or which Michael? Well, yeah, the because I know Graham Yost is the producer. <clears throat> The Americans, which was a fantastic show, so I know he's he's and he did Justified as well. You know, another wonderful show, which which increases the possibility that Timothy Oliphant's going to play Solo, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we haven't cast Solo yet. That's a he's, that's a very interesting uh, uh, choice. I think um, hopefully this season is uh, we see some success. I think we'll we'll probably know in the next uh, month or so if we need to start writing on the second season. Um, uh, they'll probably not give us a green light for a second season at first. They'll, they'll see the first few episodes cut together and say, okay, at least start writing on it to get it ready. And then uh, we'll get a better idea if we get a second season. But once that happens, we'll start. There's uh, some interesting characters to cast and uh, it'll be really fun to see who they come up with for, for Solo. I think... Um, I think if the if the show has any kind of success at all, um, or what we can what we can screen for people looks really good, I think we can really like punch above our weight in who we cast for solo. Like get somebody who just because it'd be such a fun role to play. I think pretty interesting character. 
Tom Hanks is in a bunch of Apple stuff, right? So he's right there. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, he would be interesting. He might be. Is he? He might be too old for solo, though. Bill, though, I, I, I don't doubt Tom to be able to play whatever he wants to play. Well, I'm sure whoever it is is is, is going to be amazing. Um, and you know, when I cast in my mind, I've I've got all of. Uh, I don't have the limitations of time, so it's it's '80s era Jodie Foster is Juliet for me. Although yeah. I think. Ferguson's going to be fantastic. I was watching Dune. I'm like, oh yeah, she's definitely going to kill it as uh, as Juliet. And she was in a wonderful movie. I I can't forget the title because it was directed by a previous guest, uh, Shamim Sarif. That she was just fantastic. And what was the name of that? It was um, the Despite the Falling Snow, I think. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Falling Snow. 